I've always been a fan of Hare's Ear Nymphs, um, probably because I fished them a lot in the river when I was younger, albeit with a hackle in the front of it. Um, but for still water fishing as well, I just find the thing extremely effective. Uh, and I've got quite a few variants. This is one of my, my recent favourites. And it's got this stuff, it's called Cranberry Holographic. It's like a, a pinky purple. Um, but rainbow trout certainly have a bit of a penchant for this fly. Easy one to tie, so let's go ahead and tie it. The first thing I'll do is, I'll stick a wet fly, size 10, in the vise. And my tying thread for this is a, a red AO. Most of my hair's ears are tied with red thread. A little wobble in my, my vise there. So just come down the hook shank, stopping at a point opposite the barb of the hook. There. Back up into the middle. And then I've got a, a little cheapy cape. A little bit of the green wells about this, um, but a really nice colour. I'm just going to take one of the, the longer feathers up at the top. You can see it's nice and mottled. Don't get me wrong, you can do this with a, a straight game cape, but I like the mottled coloration on that little cheapy. So I've got a tail. Tail is the same length as the body. Hence, I brought my thread up to the middle. And just catch that in so it's nice and neat. Trim away this and then just tidy it up. I've definitely got a wobble on my on my vice. So we now come in with this um like I say cranberry holographic. Just take some off of that bob in there. A red holographic's nice as well. I just like this, this clambering. I'm just gonna take that and I'm gonna catch it in so it's on your side of the hook shank. I'm going, to, oh, I'm going to rib in the opposite direction to my dubbing. Now I've got this stuff. It's a mix of um, rabbit, squirrel, and a little bit of hairs here. Uh, made for me by my friend Andreas. That scruffy dubbing. I do quite a thin dubbing rope. I'll show you in a second. It's quite thin. Let's get that dubbed a nice and tight under the thread. And then we've got to come up, cover our last thread wrap, and create an even thin body. There's not a taper on this. We've got to create everything up at the head end shortly. So there's your, the your um, your body there. So I'm now going to come up in the opposite direction of our dubbing wraps. There's two, there's three, there's four, there's five, and just secure that. Five wraps up the body there. And with the the same mottled feather we're just gonna take that off. And we've got to create a little beer like a doll back. Come in. Make sure it's secure. On the level. I'm actually better doing this. This way. Turning the hook around. And make sure that those fibres are splayed. So that they're central. Like so. Give me your scissors. And you have to be careful at this point because if you pull, you'll actually just pull it right through the thread and then just tidy that area up. Get the thread and the vise back in place. And then just bed that. Bed that in there like so. So I've now got this um, sticky dub so it's a lot more hairs here and here and that allows me it's got a little bit contrasting colour but it's also got a longer fibre 
and what I can do is I can scrunch that in a little ball and I put it over the hair's ear and catch it on. So I've got like a little mess of hair's ear there. Pull the fibres back, bed in. Pull the fibres back, bed in. Probably a tiny little pinch more. And it just creates a bulbous um, thorax area. Pinch and loop. Like so. So it looks messy just now. And all we've got to do is we come in, pull the, the fibres back away from the eye, and tidy the head area up with controlled thread wraps. Making it nice and neat and tidy. And with the with finishing tool, I just feel that this hair's ear, a little bit more bulk, fishes really, really well. It's got that larger profile. And now all we've got to do is we'll come in and just stroke that longer um, fibre, that longer dubbing fibre back over the fly and as you can see it's got a very 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 nymphy profile look at that for a fly a little stunner um it's a kind of cross between a <clears throat> a dull back and a hair zero but that cranberry rib really makes a a really big difference when it comes to rainbow trout not so much brownies a little bit of varnish on there but certainly for the the rainbows um and it's one of these flies you can fish it for the start of the season all the way through. It fishes better at the back end, but it fishes really well early season deep down. Um, so yeah, there he is, a little cranberry. Here's here, a fantastic fly, and one that doesn't take an awful lot of skill to tie. Nice and easy, and very, very effective. I really hope you enjoyed that. Please subscribe to my channel, more fly tying videos, and fishing videos. Thanks for watching, and take care.